Hello, YouTube family. I want to first come on here and apologize for my delay. Um, as far as you know, coming on here and thanking everybody. Um, I want to just thank everybody for like your love, support, for the monetary gifts, um, for the resources, and for just encouraging words for like helping me really like pulling me out of like a dark um like space um for those of you that want to like know i guess like the everything has helped me tremendously and um me and my kids and i am just so grateful and just so appreciative <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, on your new vehicle? You got your new van? Yeah, I got a new van. Um, still planning on, you know, making some moves, but I can't really talk too much about that. But I will, like, try to keep you guys updated. Maybe I'll get a channel. I don't know. Y'all know I'm kind of, like, private. So, yeah. But I am just so thankful. And I just... <laughs> I will forever be grateful to y'all. You're such a Thank sweet you. girl. Bye, y'all. Okay, sis, so as we carried on with our weekend shenanigans, I went in for a little reading, honey. This lady and her little tarot cards, honey. And I kept a straight face the entire time because I wasn't trying to let on if she was right or wrong. So she did her little reading or whatever. And it was cool. She hit a lot of points. A lot of it she was fishing for, I felt like. But then when I came back and watched the video after the fact, I was like, you know what? Actually, she did hit on everything. But again, I kept a straight face because I wasn't trying to let her know or trying to feed off my energy to try to figure out what to say next. But she was dead on, y'all. Anyway, this little place was located downtown Greensboro, North Carolina. So if you want your little reading, whatever, go to this little shop right here and get it done. Now, I'm doing a voiceover only because I realized after the fact, music was playing. But that's neither here nor there. This was my first reading interesting um would i do it again uh probably so <laughs> just interesting to know how some cards can tell you what's going on in your life and pretty much be dead on so that's that and then we decided that we were gonna go hit a little bit of a um arcade old school style and it was very nostalgic by the way so let me show you that part <laughs> Good morning, family. Welcome back to another vlog, video vlog. Today is Monday, so happy Monday. Happy, great start to your week. It's going to be a great week, okay? You're going to get a lot of stuff done. You're going to receive so many blessings this week just like literally out of nowhere okay um just be ready to receive it and share the blessing okay share the blessing when you receive the blessing so that you can continue to get more blessings i hope you had a great weekend i had a really nice weekend um i don't know if i've inserted that at this point but if i haven't i will i'll just show you a little snippet of my weekend and um which wasn't a lot but you know sometimes it doesn't require a lot you know to be doing and i know y'all probably thinking auntie where you going because you know we knows and we want to know mind your business mind all your business and then some more business because auntie ain't telling you okay i'll tell you i'm going <laughs> Okay, look, I'm back. I'm going back to the nail shop again, okay? Because it didn't happen the other day. Whenever the last vlog was, it was my intention. That's what the whole purpose was for me leaving. Then somehow I ended up in 
home goods with all this stuff like I don't understand how that even happened like so I'm going back to the nail shop and today it's going to happen see they should have told me come back in 45 minutes that's where the problem came in that when they said come back in 45 minutes because we busy and that's literally the only thing I have on my agenda for today is nail shop. I ain't going to no stores. I'm not driving by any stores. I'm I'm even gonna take a different route than how I went the last time. I'm not even going that way. I'm taking a whole other detour so that I don't see anything but trees and cars on my outing this morning okay so this weekend coming up like we're going to a wine festival mm, 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 mm. i'm excited about that okay we're going to a wine festival the hippie festival is also this weekend on the same day so i'm gonna but it's two days so i'm gonna miss the first day of the hippie festival and then i'll catch the last day which is sunday um, so Saturday is the wine festival, Sunday is the hippie festival, and we really were supposed to be starting on the patio. So I'm not missing the wine festival, y'all. Mm -mm. Auntie ain't missing no alcohol consumption. She ain't doing it. <laughs> Let me get down this road. I ain't, I'm just rambling. I ain't talking about nothing, y'all. I'll see y'all when I come out the nail shop on my way home. Okay, because I ain't stopping. Okay, sis, before we carry on with my shenanigans, honey, look what arrived today. Yes, another bag. And you can already tell by looking through the plastic what bag this is. And I'm just going to cut off the plastic bubble wrap and play around with that plastic for a second before um, opening up the box so we can see what is going on here with this bag here, okay? Um, I'll leave the company name across the screen. Um, I do know I have a coupon code for you guys, and it is Sharon, and I'm, I think it might get you $30 off if you're interested. But sis, let me go ahead and pop these uh, things right here and get my uh, stress relief on because... Actually, I think I'm going to need it. All right. So, look. Let's jump into it. So, this is the box. You know how it go. I'm going to show you how the box look. The box got a little bit of a tear on it already, as you can see right there. It's tore. Okay. But anyway, I don't use mine for decoration. So, it's neither here nor there. Of course, you know you get the infamous paperwork. Um your paperwork of authenticity you know in case the man stop you now right here i'm feeling around trying to figure out why this company didn't send me no gift bag like everybody else company you're gonna have to do better because my people like a gift bag you know you know i don't use it they still like to see it in the background so i can tell right off that it's a smaller size bag by how it fits in my hand and that's the little dust bag that it comes in right here and let's just pull the bag right on out and a voila so at first glance i'm like you know what oh she's a winner but then i said wait a minute sis what's going on here like what's what's going on i was kind of threw off immediately with this one handle situation what is up with the one handle okay like i'm i'm so confused right now my balance is immediately disturbed i'm confused but let's jump into the construction of the bag now as you can see right here it has a little luggage tag situation the construction of the bag itself how it's stitched together the hardware all on point all of it's on point the little gold feet on the bottom nice sturdy zippers the size of the bag is perfect. The shape of the bag is perfect to me. It feels good. It has the two little hook areas right here on the side. But that one handle has thrown me. Like, I'm so confused as to 
why they would create a bag with this one handle like this. It, does this not look off-putting to you or is it just me? Because I'm struggling right now. Like, I'm legit struggling. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up the bag for you, sis, so you can see what it looked like on the inside. Of course, it has the stuffing in it. I'm going to go ahead and take that out for you. Looks like there is a strap here, which is what I'm showing you, and some more paperwork. And it's just an open area bag. It's, you know, a little pocket on the side with a zipper on the inside. But other than that, you can just toss your stuff down in the bag. Now, here's what the strap looks like. It's just a um, cloth strap with the name of the bag on the strap. And it's adjustable, which I do like that. And I do like how wide the strap is. As well as the hardware is always on point. The hardware always look like good quality. And the bag itself. Now, the chain right here also was in I there as well. The the here we go. A little bit better for you to see this. Now, I have mixed emotions <laughs> about this bag. Like, I'm having a... My brain is trying to process it, okay? So let me just take it off first and just bring you kind of up close. Okay, so it came with the little gold chain, right? I don't know if this is how the gold chain goes. Let me go back on the site and see what's, where this is supposed to be at. But it's not giving balance for me. If this is how it go, it's not giving balance, all right? Um, this is definitely throwing me off. Like, why would you create a bag with one handle like this? Why not just eliminate the handle altogether? Because it's given deformed. It's given my brain don't like off balance. This is, if you know me, you know. This is messing with me. And what if I wanted to carry it as a top handle, seeing as though... There is one handle on here. <laughs> That's not an option. Um, I do love this um, strap, though, because you can adjust it and it can hang really long. This is still the plastic from Karen, I mean, covering up the hardware. But I do like the strap. And there's a little hook there. I'm not sure if this chain, like, I don't know what's, I don't know, okay? Maybe I'm lost in the sauce. I don't know. This part of the bag, th this bag would have been perfect. Like this bag would have got a 10 out of 10 for me if it had a had two handles. For sure. If it just had a had two handles, it would have got a 10 out of 10. But it's given no way for me. Now, let me show you what it looks like on. See, this is cute. This is such a cute throw on bag, hands-free, nice big thick strap, dress it up, dress it down. I feel like, again, I don't know what this chain situation is doing. The one handle has ruined the bag for me, okay? It, it's ruined it for me. Like, I am just not, I'm not. This is a no for me. However, you may like it. It may be your style. So I will leave a link down below, of course, to the company. And if they give a code, I'll leave that down there as well for you to go check out. But every bag that I received thus far has won me over in some way. And this would have been a winner. I don't understand this. Like, this is blowing my whole self. Oh, why did they do that? Why would they do that? <laughs> like, it just, it, it don't make no sense to me. Hangs perfect. Now, this is how a crossbody hangs. Look at that. Um, yeah. I'm not feeling her because of this one handle situation. Mainly only because of that, really, because other than that, she's cute. Just cute, perfect to the point bag. Again, it's the open area here. You can definitely get, you know, your phone and your wallet. And, you know, it's small, but it can hold a few things because of the shape of it, which I actually love the shape of it. 
I love the little luggage tag situation on there with the little emblem on there. That's cute. Um, again, the strap is my favorite part of the bag, but what, what, I, huh, what, why, 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 so why? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just not, I don't, maybe that's in, maybe I'm missing something, I don't know, but it's a no for me on this one, okay? For us, me personally, but everybody likes different stuff. Other than this being a problem for me, girl, me and her could have had some good times together. And we still probably will, because I'll just probably hide that strap, that one that one arm strap back down there, and I'll probably take this chain situation off and just rock it this way. Um, because it is cute. It's just that is messing with my mental space. <laughs> like, this is literally messing with me and it's causing me not to like an otherwise cute bag because of the one handle situation. It, it, I'm not feeling it, sis. But this is the bag. And could have been a winner, but eh, not. Not, she's not a winner. Because I do actually like the bag, just not that part of the bag is bothering me big time, bothering me. But yeah, check the link down below, sis, in case you wanna get you one, cause you might like it. And I might be the weirdo here, not really knowing what's in and what's, you know, what's what, but yeah, that's that. Hey sis, nails is done. I went and got, let me practice one, I'm about to die, huh? Trying to have lunch and talk to y'all. I went to the same restaurant that I went to the last time I came and got my nails done. And this time I didn't get a cake, I got, let me show you. Oh, girl, look at this. Sugar cookie. And I got a, I'm trying a different sandwich this time. I forgot the kind I had the last time. I feel like I had a Black Forest ham. Um, but this time I got a chicken sandwich. Cause she's trying to be real healthy, okay. Now, I gotta take the lettuce off. Cause I just do even though I told him to put lettuce on it. Now let's see, ooh, what this tastes like. Okay, okay, and they don't give you no napkins. <laughs> Great. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do? And I got a homemade lemonade. When I tell you this is good, diabetes in a cup, but it's still good. I was in and out the nail shop. First one, got my fill in. Now I'm having lunch. In the car talking to you. With not a care in the world. <laughs> I have not one care in the world, okay? Yum, man. It's a Greek restaurant. Mmm, that's so good. Fun fact. Fun fact, right? Where I am right now, if I had still been living in the very first apartment that I moved to, 
before I moved to the penthouses, right? The very, the very, the haunted apartment. I could have walked from the apartment to the nail shop and to this little restaurant. And it would not even on foot. It wouldn't have taken me three minutes. On foot, three minutes. Literally right there. They have built all of this stuff up. There's so many little shops. Little eateries. They built a sidewalk straight to the complex. Leave me a comment down below if you remember the haunted apartment. I need to sample the cookie. To clean my palate. Let's see about this sugar cookie, honey. You would think as big as it is, it would be hard, but look at that. Ooh. Okay. I can feel the sugar <laughs> coursing through my veins. Oh, ah. she's choking. Mm, mm. Hey, sis, I'm back home. And when I got here, my package was here. Oh. So this is the company right here. The company name right here. And I will leave a link to the company down below. And if they give me a code to give to you, I'll leave that down there as well. So they reached out to me and was like, hey, we want you to pick out some of the pieces we have on our site. And so when I went on the site, initially I didn't see like stuff that really spoke to me, right? But then I realized, I don't know if I told y'all this or not, but Ron and I and another couple are going on a cruise, my first cruise at the end of this summer. The packaging is cute. I mean, it's well packaged in these little big Ziploc sandwich bags. And let's do a little try on haul. Girl, order me some swimming suits, I believe, and cover ups, I think. Okay, girl, was I not just talking about, <laughs> was I not just telling y'all <laughs> about a hippie fest? Let me try this on for you, honey, okay? Hippie soul. Okay, so, and what size did I order these things? I ordered everything in a large because, you know, your girl is thick and all, honey. She thick, thick, thick. Then I got, I think this is one of the cover-ups. The swimming suit cover-ups, it is. Cute little white knitted sweatery cover-up, but you know, super cool because it's, you know, has holes in it. We have here. Okay, so this is like a, um, I feel like on the site, this was a dress. It's looking like, you know, a shirt. So we'll try it on and see. Okay, no, I don't know, uh -uh. I don't remember this, but anyway, this is just a little summer dress. We'll try it on. And the material, I would say, is like the feel of it. Target. This is, this is like a button up dress with long sleeves. A black swimming shoot. Uh, oh, okay. She got the back out. It's a back out with the built-in cups that are sliding all around the place. So I'll probably cut them out. Is this a cover-up? No, this is also a swimming suit. A white swimming suit that is made of like a little lace detail. 
where am I going with this on? Cause this is completely see-through. Okay. Okay, so this is what the cover-up and the black bathing suit looks like. Given grown lady, um, sexy, okay? It's, it's um, maybe I can show you the top part and I'll just cover up this portion down here, honey, because <laughs> this is what the top looks like. And this is the back of how the back of the bathing suit is. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of what this looks like on the site and put it maybe right here, okay? Because I can't remember, honestly. So I'm, I'm just going to assume that this is also a cover-up and not necessarily a dress that I would wear out. Um, I don't think I could probably bend over in it I like how it fits though, the, the slouchiness of it, but I don't know though. You know what? Use this as a swimming suit cover up. I thought it was a dress that you could wear out, but I wouldn't feel secure because as you can see, it rises up quite a bit. So cover up at the swimming pool, cute for that. That's what I'll use it for. Um, the white swimming suit was a no-go for me. Um, I don't know if you need to be thin with no behind to, to wear this comfortably, but they have a built in, like an inner panty and it wouldn't rise above my tush. So I couldn't even get in here. Like this is a no-go for me. I mean, it doesn't, yeah, it's a no-go. A no-go for me. Um, this portion of the inner, the inside, right? You see that little part right there? That's what would go across your boobs. It has no give, so it flattens your boobs and causes like a, a crease across, like dead smack across your boobs. So if you have bigger boobs, you definitely won't be able to wear this. And I have small boobs and it's still a no-go for me. There's no give in it and it's just not flattering. So that's a no. So this is the hippie soul dress. I mean, this is a cute, slouchy summer fit, very hippie. I like it. I probably will wear this to the hippie fest just because it has that on there. Um, this is probably my most favorite thing in everything that they sent. Hippie soul. On to the next outfit. Okay, so this is the blue button-up shirt dress situation. Um, none of the pieces are flattering to my body. I'm just being honest. I'm giving you an honest review. Nothing is flattering to me. Um, and I'm not a person that wears like belts for singeing in. I, I just don't. Does have pockets on it. Um, and as you can see, this is the last button stops there. So this part right here is like a little split in the front, but the sleeves, as you can see here, this is actually cutting into my arm. Like that is so tight. Um, and if you wear them down, then they look like this. Um, not flattering to my body. at all. However, however, we're all shaped different. So I'm going to leave the link to their company down below so that you can go on the site, check it out, see if you see anything you like. If they give me a code, I'll give that to you as well. Um, so it's a no for me, sis, but you might like how it'll fit on your body. So again, I'll leave the link down below in the description of this video so that you can still go check out the site and see if you know you see anything you like um shout out to them for sending me these pieces but kind of missed the mark with me company um just saying 
Yeah. Sweet little boys. Yeah. You're so cute. You Look at them what? sweet boys. Tell like you done. Let me get that real quick. And there's one more boy on the way. Okay, don't fight. Don't fight. That's not yours, Dainty's. Yeah, that's not yours. Yeah. He like, but where's where's mine? Yeah. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going, Peter? Hey, Peter. Hey, Solar. Solar. Okay, move your big, thick hand. Move that big, move that big, thick hand. Move that. Look at them cheeks. Them cheeks is fake. Yes. Okay. Here. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay.